Pascal's Wager is a single-player action role-playing mobile game available for iOS and Android devices. It was released in January and June 2020 respectively, and has since been downloaded over 1 million times. You can find it in the description below of this video. I have been recently playing this game on iPhone after the makers reached out to me, and I have been pleasantly surprised with the quality of the game. Even though this is a sponsored video, my thoughts and opinions are my own, and I am not obliged to say anything that I don't want to. So, what is the game? Pascal's Wager is set in a dystopian medieval fantasy world with Lovecraftian themes similar to the Dark Souls and Bloodborne franchise. It is a single player game based around patience and timing with mainly melee abilities but with some ranged abilities as well. The game features its own soundtrack and dialogue with movie like cutscenes. Being a mobile device game, the graphics are outstanding and rival that of a console game in my opinion. I love the dark theme that surrounds it and it does a great job of creating a dismal and mysterious atmosphere. The gameplay itself is challenging but very rewarding. I would recommend playing it on the normal difficulty, which is currently the hardest, for the best experience. Correct timings and patience is an absolute must and those that do not respect their opponent's attacks will be punished severely. Even those of the lowest levels at the start of the game can pose a threat to the unwitting warrior. Various loot is spread across the land, which will enable you to increase the power of the main character you play, Terence, who, by the way, makes two swords his weapons of choice, one being held normally in his right hand, and the other being held in a reverse grip fashion in his left. As mentioned before, the game draws considerable comparisons to Dark Souls and Bloodborne, but despite this, it is its own game entirely. Being able to play a game like this on mobile is an incredible step forward for mobile gaming in my view, and I can see this being a popular game for those long journeys where you can sit back and become immersed in the intriguing world that Pascal's Wager offers. The name, by the way, Pascal's Wager, comes from the philosophical argument by the French philosopher Blaise Pascal, who came up with the argument of how humans bet with their lives on whether God exists or not, and the implications of each outcome. But that's going to have to be a Google search if you want to explore more of that. The mechanics of the game are very easy to learn in my opinion and actually play out if you just use your fingers on a touch screen like I did. I found them very intuitive and logical and not much room for error on the user's part really. Following on from this, the fact that the game runs very smoothly and without any stutters or technical glitches is a massive help, though I can't speak for those who are running it on much older devices. I think those playing it on newer devices with higher refresh rate screens might find themselves with a slight advantage, but minimal and probably more aesthetic changes than anything. It is a single player game after all, so you won't have to worry about any unfair advantages uh, that might be possible if you were to be against an online opponent, for example. Some final points are that the game at the moment takes up roughly just less than 3 gigabytes of storage space and is only playable in landscape mode, which should be fairly obvious. The frame rate and graphical settings can be turned up or down in the settings on the fly, much like a PC game. So going back to what I was saying earlier, you can in fact ensure for yourself quite easily that you're always getting the best experience on any device you have. So in summary, would I recommend this? As you may guess, it is an easy yes for me. Even though these types of games or fighting games are my bread and butter for this channel, I think compared to some others out there, this is definitely it definitely has something special about it. From the mechanics and the customization to the characters, uh, the overall feel of the game is unique and I can't wait to see what more that this game brings. Which reminds me also, it's worth mentioning, you can get DLC for this too. So I hope that this was informative for those interested in getting this game. There is a link in the description that I've placed for you if you so wish and yeah, I hope you enjoy it if you get it and let me know what you think as always by commenting and giving this video a massive like as well. Have an awesome rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video.
sorrow. You again? You know him? Forgive me. Are you awake? How long have I been... Who knows? I've already lost track of time in this endless darkness.